Now that you've had some time to print on the Form 4 or Form 4L, let's review the suggested maintenance procedures that keep your printer in good working order. Most maintenance procedures for these printers are incidental, meaning you'll only perform them when certain conditions appear. First, let's cover software and firmware. Print settings are part of Formlabs Preform software, so keeping Preform on the latest version ensures you always have the most optimized settings. If your computer is connected to the internet, a notification will display when Preform is opened, alerting you to a new version. We recommend installing the newest version whenever you see this message. You may also check at any time by choosing the Help menu and selecting Check for Updates. Printer firmware controls the printer's internal behaviors, such as motor movement and resin dispensing, so it is important to keep it current. Printers connected to an outside internet connection will receive a notification on the touchscreen when a new printer firmware has become available. You can follow the prompts to install new firmware. For printers on a restricted local network or offline printers, we suggest that you check for new firmware versions monthly or any time your printer behaves unexpectedly. To check for an update, connect your printer to a computer running Preform via Wi-Fi, USB, or Ethernet. In Preform, click the Job Setup window on the right side. In the Job Setup window, select the serial name of your printer. On the right side of the screen, click Update Firmware and the Firmware Update screen will appear. If a new version is available, you can follow the prompts to download and send the update to the printer. You'll finish installation on the printer's touchscreen. Moving along to the next type of maintenance you'll experience on your Form 4 or Form 4L, let's talk about print failures. Print failures can occur whenever a print has not been set up adequately, or as an indicator that the printer may require some maintenance. In the event of unexpected print outcomes, we recommend reaching out to FormLab support to identify the source of the issue. Here, let's go over the two most important processes cleaning the resin tank, and cleaning the release texture of the LPU. Cleaning the resin tank after a print failure is a simple and effective way to minimize debris that may obstruct future prints. You will need nitrile gloves and the plastic tank scraper from the finish kit to complete this process. In the printer's maintenance screen, run through the steps to print a cleaning sheet. This creates a very thin sheet of resin across the entire build area. Open the printer door once the print has fully completed and use a gloved finger to locate the corner of the newly printed cleaning sheet. Once found, use the plastic tank scraper to gently lift the corner of the cleaning sheet by running it along the tank film and under the layer of cured resin. When you have lifted enough to hold onto, pull the sheet off of the tank film the rest of the way with your gloved hands. You may use your hands to squeeze off excess resin before disposing of the sheet. After removing the cleaning sheet, you can retry your print. Consider reorienting and resupporting your models in case those factors contributed to the print failure. If cleaning the tank and attempting a new print orientation does not resolve the issue, contact our FormLab support team for guidance before proceeding. If further maintenance is necessary for resolving print issues, you may need to inspect and clean the LPU's release texture. Remove the consumables from the printer and use a flashlight, LED, or cell phone light to illuminate the release texture. If you see dust, smudges, or contamination, clean the release texture following FormLab's instructions. Keep in mind that minimal cleaning is best for optical surfaces like the LPU. Always use isopropyl alcohol in this cleaning process. Other solvents may degrade the protective coating on the LPU. First, put on a new, clean pair of nitrile gloves. Grip the top of a non-abrasive wipe with a gloved hand and soak the bottom half of the wipe with clean isopropyl alcohol. Drag the isopropyl alcohol-soaked wipe slowly across the surface of the LPU. It should take approximately 30 seconds to traverse the width of the LPU. Do not contact the release texture with your hand or apply pressure to the wipe. For debris and resin near the edge of the LPU, always drag the wipe towards the closest edge of the LPU to avoid spreading the contaminant. Wait for the isopropyl alcohol on the release texture to dry. Repeat this process as many times as needed until the contaminant has been removed. 